details on how social media could be causing an increase in eating disorders. We go to social media platforms, so we're talking Instagram or TikTok, and that's to get... Well, now to dangerous trends on social media. Social media is a blessing and a curse. While social media has catalysted many changes in the world through the lens of business, marketing, networking, learning, and interest sharing, its impact on teenagers' self-perception is a major impact that often goes overlooked. Um, I've been on social media for about eight years. And how often do you use social media? Like, the things that are thrown in our face while we're on social media ultimately has an impact on us and like how we perceive ourselves. When you're like a teenager, you are you're going through this period in your life where you're just trying to like navigate your identity. And I think with like social media, there's just like so many identities that you're like, um, like getting, um, there's so many identities that you're able to like witness that you are having difficulty with just like, oh, well that person, like she's like super pretty. Like I don't have like a nose like that. And like, that's like the beauty standard. Because so many teenagers are exposed to different identities as well as different lifestyles and body types that come with these online personas, what is shown on social media becomes to be what they strive for. And what specific body type or look do you think is promoted by social media? Uh, the hourglass. And why do you think that is? I just see it a lot. Um, in social media, also like having, you know, a skinnier body or waist. And not be, have to be like a certain type of curvy with the skin. A lot of these body goals for young women specifically are not only unrealistic, but extremely unhealthy to try to replicate. I think a lot of uh, body types and body styles and diets, they're like, they're not healthy at all. Especially once you like look at the biochemical level of like what's affected. So I think a lot of it is pushed and there's no research being put to it, so it does more harm than good. Aside from potential medical issues, it can also cause a lack of individuality, with people thinking they need to achieve a hyper-specific look to be considered beautiful. Uh, I think the expectations that social media sets, they irritate me. People aren't unique. So that irritates me, and you can like see copy-paste, copy-paste everywhere. Uh, because like, I've seen like, people around my age trying to look like the influencers on like, Instagram, YouTube, or like, any other type of social media. Like, trying to look like them, like, expect themselves to be like them. With the amount of teenagers that use social media, it is clear the hurdles related to being a teenager in the past are completely reconstructed, and our development is heavily based and influenced by various platforms and their algorithms. General lifestyle goals can also make adolescents stressed out when they attempt to compare their lifestyles to those they see on their screens. Um, I know we were all experiencing like the same effects, um, like a lot of us were dealing with the impacts of like social media, you know, we felt really pressured, I think. When you just graduate from college, you see everybody um, going through different life phases. And I think it really pressured us and made us feel really anxious and made us feel really depressed. Um, we all talked about taking like social media breaks. Uh, we all talked about because of social media, a lot, like, a lot of more teens and young adults are feeling more anxious and with having anxiety and depression that ultimately affects your memory. But unfortunately, there is a chemical response to using social media that can make it so hard for people to just put it down, even when it has adverse effects. Um, so it originally starts off with like, you know, you have spare time, it's like five minutes between like walking from your class to the next class. And you just like wanna fill in that gap with like just scrolling through your phone because you're so bored, you want like to 
you know, like stimulate your mind in some sort of way. Um, and so then you're always looking for a way to like get stimulated. And when you're not stimulated, you're just like kind of like, oh, like I'm really bored. Like I really want to get on my phone. Wealth is also another envied topic on social media that is often promoted. In order to achieve on social media, you need access to lifestyles that people can only dream to have. Um, I see, okay. I see a lot of like lifestyle content, but like things to do around the city, restaurants to go to, um, different places to try. So that's more so what I see. Do you think a lot of those things that are promoted, I guess, are like accessible maybe to most people or not? I don't think so. Um, you either need a car, you need money, or you just kind of need like a social life. So, no. Even if your content is not directly related to wealth, in order to achieve success, you still need to have access to equipment that will make your production value higher quality for more engagement. I think it's a mix uh, to like get popular on social media. I think it's a mix of luck and chance and what you have yourself. Because like you can be funny and you can get popular, but like if you want to make something in your house, if you have like certain lighting and it looks bad, nobody's gonna watch it. So like people, they can tell who you are. So you need money to some extent, and if you don't have money, you need access to like being funny and having a funny situation like that. When asked about how we can avoid some of the negative impacts of social media, the main solution seemed to be to limit the time spent on different platforms. So, so yeah, social media, social media breaks will ultimately help you like just ground yourself, you know, like get back into reality and just kind of, I think it just kind of gives you a reality check. Like things aren't normally perceived in that way. Like life is different and it's life is through your own lens, not through an algorithm that is set up based on like what you might like in the videos that you've been viewing for a little bit. Social media platforms themselves have even begun to offer reminders urging users to take time off their devices after they have used an app for a specific amount of time. Despite the call for putting the devices down, the algorithms provided by different platforms are catered to your interests, making it more and more difficult to avoid engagement with topics you love at your fingertips. With these differences in approach, we can only ask ourselves, is social media only a blip in our technological evolution that we will learn to moderate, or is it only the beginning of a new chapter for the human race? This issue happens all over the world, and it may be happening in your community, and that's why you should care.